and I'm Molly, and we're gonna go around Long Beach, see what people really think about the Occupy Wall Street dilemma. Um, what's what are your just your general thoughts on the Wall Street Occupy Wall Street? Um, I don't know. Um, I do believe that people need to be gathering, but uh, I think it's a little unrealistic, idealistic. So what do you think about Occupy Wall Street? We are the 99%. We are the 99%. The 1% dominate. There's an underestimation of the, uh, the powers that they're aiming to change. Take up a pause, just take up a pause and not live for any like, purpose. It's kind of like they romanticize what it means to like defend a cause. And so like a lot of people are just kind of like, I don't know, trying, to, trying to live up to their image of being this rebel kind of to, Okay. I feel like I like that the movement has no leader because it's, it's harder to take down a mass group of people versus just one person. It's justified. Yeah, I don't know if everything they're doing is justified for like joblessness over there, but some people are probably doing it because they like donation money helps them out a lot. But you know, I still I'm still not sure if what they're doing is justified. how it like spread worldwide and how um, people around the world are uniting over something that nobody even knows what it is. Oh yeah, one time me and him we looked up Peru, Occupy Peru, and there was an actual <laughs> Occupy Peru. And Africa, so there's an I, Occupy Peru, there's an Occupy Africa. Africa, you had to Occupy yeah. Other than those starting things, we just have to slide out. I mean, what are, yeah. what are they really asking for here? Um, I'm all for revolutionary ideas, but I'm also for planning ahead. You know, you can do a lot more than partying in the street. Like, imagine that if those people who were out there protesting were instead working and dedicated all that money that they worked mm -hmm. to a cause to actually change these things, they'd actually be getting much more done than chilling and being pissed off and being pepper sprayed, dude. And for what reason? Like, it's... It's senseless violence. I mean, this is the way the police is always going to react. You know, they're not going to fucking... Oh, can you edit that? They're not going to, uh... You know, they weren't pepper spraying the people who were out there saying stuff like, you're going to hell, America is doomed, you know? Why aren't they pepper spraying those people? 
they're straight up saying America is doomed. Now that's some straight up un-American stuff right there, and no one's doing anything about that. I'm not saying I want them pepper sprayed. I'm saying that's the message that they're sending to this movement, you know? That's the sort of message that the people who are in charge want to send. And uh, they're underestimating the enemy, and if they're going to have a non-violent protest, they should be thinking more critically and tactically about how they're dealing with an enemy who's going to use weapons against them. They better not touch my assets. I worked hard. What?